Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Horde Every Night in Ghost Town. It is the morning of day 17 and we got a lot to do today. The first thing we want to do, however, is head down to the pill store and get this gunpowder moving. So, I was completely mistaken in the last video. I don't know what I was thinking. The beaker does not go in the chem station. It goes in the campfire and all you need is a chem station in order to cook the gunpowder one to one with the nitrate and the coal and we've got zombies in here. I figured we, we would. So let's go ahead and take them out. And then, yeah, all we need, which we have on us, is the gunpowder, I mean, the, the nitrate and the coal. And then we just need the chem station and the chem station alone to be able to cook gunpowder one-to-one. -one. So, uh, oh, Big Mama's running out here. <laughs> She's fucking amped to fight. Lay down. How did I miss that first shot? Lay down, Big Mama. She's not dead. Oh, now she is. So it's a good thing that we found the beaker, but it's not needed to craft the gunpowder. And we're just waking up everybody in town this morning. It's like we're going to have a decent fight here. And uh, there might be some more runners, so we just need to be careful. Keep watching our back. And another thing about uh, the last video was I, kept, I, I was saying that I, I wasn't sure when the traders uh, restocked their inventory. And if you look, which everyone pointed out to me, up in the top right corner when you're uh, interacting with the trader, it will tell you the day when they're going to restock. So all three traders that we visited in the last video are going to restock on day 19. So that shows you how much attention I pay to detail. But so we're on day 17 here. So we'll spend the next two days just chilling in ghost town and doing as much work as we can and trying to survive. And then day 19, we'll take a cruise back to all three traders and uh, see if we can get ourselves a tool and die set. All right, so let's go ahead and get this gunpowder moving. Let's make sure we're all cleared out in here. I'm pretty sure we are. And then once we get this cooking, we're going to head to the treasure chest from the treasure map that we read yesterday. There's always some good loot in those things. We could find a whole bunch of ammo, a good gun, hopefully some uh, silver and diamonds, maybe even a whole bunch of coin, because from what I understand too, the tool and die set is going to cost around 4,000 coin, and we don't have that much yet, but we're pretty close to that. Plus, we've got some skill points, so I think I'm going to throw one, maybe even two skill points into better barter, so we we, uh, we get better prices uh, and, and all that shit with the trader. You know, I've got the concrete on me, so before we leave, let's just go ahead and repair the gallows. Damn it. Oh, I caught myself on the barbed wire. Well, I'm going to cut myself multiple times while doing this, so just something we're going to have to get used to. Now oh, we got zombies waking up. Oh, shit. I told you. I'm going to cut myself multiple times. Got Big Mama sleeping on the front porch. Let's wake her up, and the rest must be inside the jail. She's dead. How many we got in here? Looks like just a couple. No big deal. The jail will try and get to repairing this place today, too. It's not a priority for me, because there's not that much damage here, and they don't really attack the jail that often. All right, they're dead. Oh, shit. Where'd you come from? Man, it is it is not a good morning so far. A little bit of a hectic morning here. So, uh, maybe we should use a first aid bandage. All right. Um... Let's just get the hell out of Ghost Town for a second and go grab this treasure. Okay, this is the general area. We got some fire zombies in the vicinity, so we gotta be careful. I hate digging on a hill like this, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We're right over the icon. We probably should drop some of this stuff off on the bike so we're not encumbered. Oh, is that it? Beautiful. All right, look at that. Shit ton of coin, gold, diamond, silver. That's nice. That makes me want to go to the trader right now, but 
that's there's no need for that. Where the hell's our bike? There it is. Um, let's just get back to Ghost Town and 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 start working, man. We got a lot of work still left to do back there. So now uh, we can breathe a little bit easier from all of that because I'm gonna, you know, we'll put the coin away and the gold and the silver and the diamonds, and we're gonna be taking a ride back to all three traders on the 19th when their inventory restocks, and we'll take all of the coin with us. Hopefully we can buy a tool and die set. If we can't, we can buy a shit ton of ammo. So uh, that's going to help us out a lot. All right, here we go. Let's uh, grab everything we need from the bike, drop it off, and uh, we got a little bit more work to do on the gallows. We're going to have to chop more trees down. We need more wood so we can make more spikes. The gallows is definitely where we're holding the horde down tonight. We're going to do more work on the shotgun base, but there's no way we're going to have that place hoard ready by tonight. I'm making 96 iron arrowheads because I have 96 feathers, so we'll get those crafted for tonight. Um, I know, the crucible. That's another thing I mentioned in the previous video. We got to get one of those made so we can start crafting the steel arrowheads. But, dude, that's 1,200 stone. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try to collect some stone today, but there's so much work still left to do here. Um, I can't just kind of disappear for an hour or two just to collect some stone right now. Plus, we just got a shit ton of uh, coin and stuff. So our ammo situation is uh, is not going to be a problem for a little bit. Um, I re I'm replacing these these plates right here. I mentioned this in the previous video as well. Just They're decoy blocks. The zombies beat on them, and they don't do anything. If the zombies knock all of these plates out, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the integrity of the base, but it's nice to have them there. It gives the zombies something to beat on instead of the um, support beams. Let me just check some stuff out up here, and then we'll get working on the shotgun base. Like these, we probably should upgrade. Uh, I want to upgrade these bars here to iron. There we go. These poles here, I don't know if we need to upgrade them anymore at this point. That one needed a little bit of repair. Let's double check these wood bars, see if any of them need to be repaired. And then we'll move on to the shotgun place, get some work done over there. Okay, here we go. So, we're just going to keep working on what we were working on yesterday, which is um, pretty much bust out the entire walls except for the corners. Want to open it all up in here. Need to finish knocking out the rest of the floor in here. And if we can get all of that done and still have some time left, then we'll start digging down. Supply drop in the southeast. Let's take a look at the map. And it is right here by the hotel. So, probably go pick that up in a little bit. Oh, we got some zombies down here. Might be a wandering horde. Let's spend these uh, skill points, though. I've been wanting to do this. We're going to go better barter. And let's do it twice. That'll leave us with one skill point, And we'll just hold on to that one for now. And that's that. I think that's that, anyway. Let's have a look at these zombie kill stats. 705 zombie kills. That's not bad. I mean, it probably would be higher if we were just playing a normal game, because you kill a shitload of zombies when you raid POIs. Alright, as if we have nothing else to do today, let's do a little bit of mining. Why not, right? I'm gonna build some wood frames, though, so we can block off the top here, so no zombies drop in on us. We're gonna try and find some oil shale, which means we gotta go straight down, is what I heard. I don't know how true that is, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, it, it could be random, it could be that you just have to go deeper, that's why I'm not finding it. So, let's go deep, guys. Well, we're pretty friggin' deep, and I haven't found any yet. I've been widening this hole, though. To make it two blocks wide, this way we can pull our way back up like this, 
instead of having to just go straight up and then we can't get the frames back. At least this way, we can uh, pull up and pick them up as we go. Oh, that's more iron. Let's keep going. Oh, shit. What the hell, man? Broken leg. I Why would I pick up that other block? I thought they were both still in place. Oh, my God. All right. This is working out great. This is a great day today. There we go. Encumbered, broken leg, we're moving fast now. Holy shit. Alright, let's get inside, make a splint and fix our broken leg, get the forge running, get this iron that we just collected into the forge, and then we'll go, uh, we gotta lay down some more spikes and barbed wire that we crafted at the gallows, then we'll go get the supply drop, and then we'll work at the shotgun place until the horde comes. So I made eight iron spikes, which we're gonna lay around this support beam right here, and I probably should have used iron spikes for underneath the gallows, but that's all right. I don't want to start burning through all of my forged iron just yet, because dude, the iron spikes, they yeah, they might last a little bit longer than the wood spikes, but on these big hordes, they won't last all night, so they're gonna get destroyed anyway. So I would rather use mostly wood spikes, and I don't mind mixing in iron spikes here and there, but, you know, in the end, Wood is a renewable resource, iron is not. Hold up, got a duffel bag up here, let's go check this thing out. You never know. Okay, level one pistol and some ammo, we'll actually scrap that pistol. That'll give us 15 more rounds and some mechanical parts, we don't need that level one piece of shit. All right, let's grab some stone. We got a little bit of time here. We never were able to go on our stone run and, and collect a whole bunch of it for the crucible. We'll get a little bit here. We Actually, we got a little bit from digging also. Uh, but maybe tomorrow we'll go on a stone run and try and get uh, that 1,200 we need to craft the crucible. But in my mind, it's more important to get the shotgun base up and running and horde ready before we uh, start working on the crucible. See what we got in here. Ooh, five first aid kits. That's pretty damn good. Definitely gonna use those. Okay, here we are. We got anything on the bike? No. Man, I feel like this day just got away from me. Let's go ahead and unload, get strapped up for the horde, and then we'll work on the shotgun base until right when the horde is about to show up. Oh shit, we got a screamer over there. A couple of hazmat zombies. Not sure if there's even a, a larger horde behind her or not. Let's go take care of them. Hazmat. Splash. Shut up, lady. Alright, she's dead. Okay, looks like he's the last one here. Dead. And that is the first screamer I've seen all series. Um, should we work on the shotgun place or should we repair the jail? We'd have to go get the cobblestone. We don't even have many much cobblestone left. You know what? Fuck it. The jail's fine. Let's get a little bit more work done here. Okay, it's coming along. A little bit more work to do. A few more blocks to knock out. Then we gotta... Um, we gotta put a hole in the ceiling, right? And put bars. Uh, we got to fill this in right here, though. What is that right there? Are those steps? I think they are. Probably got to knock those out and then fill all that in with blocks. Yeah, those are steps. And then uh, we got to knock a hole in the middle of the ceiling. Put in bars, but leave an open area so we can throw Molotovs down. And then once that's all done, we can knock out these support beams here. And that shouldn't be holding anything up. And then we got to dig down 
two, maybe three blocks, and then frame it all out and, and load it with, with traps and spikes. So we're looking at probably two more days worth of work here. I mean, it would be one if we can do nothing but work all day nonstop, but we can't because we have a horde to prepare for every night. And uh, that's just the way it is when you're playing horde every night. All right, here we go. Man, I should have used iron spikes for underneath the gallows, but too late for that. We'll see how it goes tonight. We can always do that moving forward. Three dogs already. Whole bunch of zombies coming right for this corner here. Makes me want to get fire down there, but I'm going to hold off. If I would have found, like, a vein of oil shale, and I, and I knew oil wasn't going to be an issue, I wouldn't be holding off so much in these Molotovs, even though we did just find a shitload of coin and diamonds and stuff. Could buy a bunch of oil with that. Oh, here we go. I think there's, like, three out there. Let's get him dead. Here we go. Oh, shit, that vulture just flew right into the gunfire. Oh, we're out of bullets. Reload. Here we go. Two more out there. He's dead. And he's dead. Holy shit. Good thing we brought the AK out tonight. Alright, let's get some fire down there now. And you know, I don't know if I want to buy oil. I mean, I will if I have to, because Molotovs are very important. But I hate to spend money on something we can get for free by either taking cars apart or finding oil shale. So, we'll just see how it goes, man. For the next couple of days, I'm holding on to my money. We're not going into the tr to the trader until day 19, and we're going to cross our fingers that we can find a tool and die set. Up until then, my main priority is getting the shotgun base up and running. Let's see if we can get this spider zombie killed. Oh, we missed. Come here. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. There's a couple of loot bags down there. But we're not going to do anything stupid like jump down there. Not yet, anyway. Let's get some more fire down there since they're all building up underneath the gallows. Oh my god, look at that. That's beautiful. This is what makes me glad that blocks can't go on fire. What the hell was that? Oh shit, back up, bird. I think that was the spider zombie jumping out of the fire while still on fire. Alright, might as well harvest some feathers, right? We got nothing else going on. Oh my goodness. Well, it got real quiet. I think we really thinned out the herd just there. Look, the spider zombie is still alive. There we go. Now he's dead. Damn, I thought we were getting close to the end of it. Here comes a whole other wave, and I see another cop. Let's take him out before he even gets close. There we go. He's dead. Look at this. Got a shit ton more zombies running in. Let's go all Rick Grimes on him with the python. Dude, I tried to buy a cult python before. They are close to, like, 4 Gs. That's because uh, Colt doesn't sell them anymore, so the only place you can get, find them is, like, Cabela's Gun Library. And they're expensive as shit, because everybody raised the price now, especially with The Walking Dead, you know? Rick Grimes has a gun, so here comes a cop. Hit him with the Magnum. Let's pull out the AK. Oh, here we go. Lay down. Oh, shit, here comes another one. Damn. I've lost count of how many cops we've, uh, we've had so far. Quite a bit, though. But, yeah, that's how it goes, right? With guns, with anything. You know, someone, some popular character on a show or a movie has something, whether it's a gun or a car, and, you know, everybody wants that one thing. And when uh, when they're rare and no one sells them anymore, the people who have those things, uh, they sell them for, you know, top dollar. All right, let's get down there. Only a handful left. Oh, sent her flying. Oh, shit, there are more in the jail that are breaking out. We're okay. Let's just get a little bit more distance here. Worst comes to worst, we can pull out the AK, but I don't think we're going to need that. Okay, that's it. That was easy. Not really, though. These hordes are getting really big. Uh, thankfully, you know, the AK uh, let us take care of those cops real quick. We got quite a bit of them tonight. Oh, that's nice. What, eight or nine cops? I don't know. I completely lost count. So having the AK or the SMG, uh, even the Magnum, you know, we did some damage with the Magnum tonight. Thin the horde real, real quick with that thing. So all of these guns and ammo really help, you know. We're going to see a big difference in the fight 
once we run out of ammo, unless, fingers crossed, we can grab that tool and die set. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Next video, I think we'll just go hard at the shotgun base and, and try and get that place up and running and hoard ready by tomorrow night. And that's a risk, because if we don't get it where, it's, where it needs to be, then we're not gonna have a base at all. But if we spend a bunch of time trying to get the gallows back up to speed, we're not going to have enough time to get the shotgun base uh, done and ready by tomorrow night. So I don't know. Let me put some thought into it, and we'll get it all figured out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you for all the support. It really does mean a lot. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Horde every night in Ghost Town, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.